Bobolot dog toy recently won a bronze award for the best new product at one of the largest pet store trade shows in the country. It is one of the best built treat dispensing toys that I've seen. We added it to our product line because of its quality. The food treats are added through the top, which has a sturdy lid that's screwed on, and treats are either dispensed out of the top or a small hole on the bottom. The beauty of this toy is the volume of treats being dispensed can be controlled by a small sliding door on the holes that the treats come out of. So when the dog moves the toy around, the treats can either flow out of the toy or if you adjust the size of the openings, very few treats come out at all. Another nice feature of the toy is that the treats can either be dispensed out of the top or the bottom of the toy. If the screw on top is not put back on, the treats can come out an adjustable opening in the neck of the bobolot. There's also an adjustable door on the small hole on the bottom. When we first introduced this toy to our dogs, we let a lot of treats dribble out of the toy so the dog quickly figures out, hey, this is a new treat dispensing machine. Once they understand that, we adjust the size of the openings and restrict the treat flow. This only piques the interest of the dog. That goes there. They go right down in the hole, like that. Close it like that. Screw the top on. And then they will come out. Now, this is the first time that we've shown this toy to Rainy, our house dog, one of our house dogs. And we set the openings so a lot of treats come out. And as I said, you can adjust it so hardly any or no treats come out. That's the beauty of it. But in the first stages of using it, we want the dog to know this is a treat toy. Now, here's our 13-week-old puppy, Malinois puppy, Endy. And it hasn't taken her very long to figure out how the treats come out of this bobolet. She's in her exercise pen in our basement. If you don't have our videotape titled Your Puppy Eight Weeks to Eight Months, you wouldn't know that we raise our puppies in the house in our exercise pen. This is Cindy's office right behind the X-Pen. And my office is to the left. This is a great way to raise puppies. It allows the other dogs in our family to move around them, and the puppies don't have to jump up and climb all over them and take a chance on getting bit. But it's pretty obvious we put a lot of toys in with our puppies in, and he likes this bob a lot. It keeps her busy for a long, long time. And when people ask us, you know, what toys do you recommend, if they have a house dog, eh, this would even work outside, but if they have a house dog, this is really a perfect toy for them. I'm going to let this videotape play for a couple of minutes so you can see that this wasn't just a little 10-second blurb that she happened to be interested in the, in the toy. And if you're new to dogs, you might want to visit our website. We sell these exercise pens. Uh, 
I have one in my office, actually, for my Malinois. Uh, we have this one for Andy. We have a 13-year-old um, Welch Corgi who has degenerative myelopathy, which means that her spine is starting to go, and we have one set up on the rug uh, because she has such difficult time walking. We don't want her on the tile floor. And we have one of these uh, exercise pens in one of our yards out behind our house because we don't we want to restrict uh, where Andy goes. We don't want her running throughout the whole yard and eating things that puppies eat and ending up with a bowel obstruction. We control the environment she's in with an exercise pen. She'll outgrow it, but my Malawa puppy at this point is just 12 months old and he weighs about 80 pounds and when puppies are started in these exercise pens they don't climb out of them not if you train them correctly he could easily almost he's so big he could easily step out <laughs>